How do I become different? How, right. how do I become memorable to somebody? Like, right. Let's hire the guy with, uh, with, the, with the cowboy hat, a black man in a cowboy hat. Right. May not know your name. Right. But so how does somebody stick out to somebody? A few uh, things. Become memorable? You, you, you stand out because you need to find out what's missing. Okay. You need to find out what's missing and fill that hole. What do you think was missing in, in your career? Um, what's radio airplay for me to go to the next level would yeah. be radio airplay. Cause so many people fall in love with the songs that they hear on radio. Country music people are still listening to radio in their trucks while they're working. <laughs> they don't have time to go to their phone and pick a playlist and do it. They don't do that. They're working. They're out. Their hands are in the dirt. They're taking care of cattle. To this day. They're, to this day. Still, I still listen to radio. Terrestrial radio. Ter country music is still ran by terrestrial radio. Wow. It has another 20 months before it's, before it's gone. Okay. So that's what I'm missing. But in my business, we were missing someone that was authentic but had a soul voice. Also, that had energy. A lot of it is slow, dreary, yeah. and I'm coming in happy. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I made it off of an 11-acre goat farm out of Bangs, Texas. I'm the happiest dude in the room. They paid me $7 on a warm Dr. Pepper. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Country music bands make some noise. Let's go. I love it. Yeah. We gone. That's it, man. We in. That's, that's the passion. That's the love. Because the there's not that energy. Damn. So when you feel that level of this guy's, I love this. Yeah. What's missing in the business? Yeah. Entrepreneurs, everybody has the 1992 Lamborghini Gallardo and the fake teeth. What? How are you different? People that are working folks out, yeah. all the influencers that are doing uh, physical training. What? Now you have an app. Now you're on school. Now, what makes you different? What's the yeah. niche? Yeah. Are you teaching people that are traveling? Is it the businessman that wants to be in shape? Do you see him how to work out in a hotel room? Mm. Go rent a hotel room and make seven hours of content showing him how to do push-ups with his foot on the bed. That's Find it. your niche and, and double down in that. Yeah. What about the mom that just had a baby that doesn't feel good about herself? Get that mama up. Get on a workout plan. Get on some vitamins and nutrients to give her the energy of what she needs. Yeah. What yeah. about the guy that's blowing his body out and he's just hurting? Find a way to sell him TRT. What are we doing? What's missing? Yeah. If you replicate, you'll never be. Come on, man. <laughs> Lauren Hill said, you don't create. You just wait to take my tape and replicate and be a duplicate. Man, wow. Well, pro, right, Ecclesiastes, nothing new is created under the sun. Right. King Solomon, right? Nothing new is created underneath the sun, but the way you deliver it is always special. It's unique. You need to. You. It's God-given yeah. talent. Given, it's, 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 How you get a kid to eat green beans when they're little? That's, yeah. right. That's right. That's right. You're playing time. Delivery. Yeah. Delivery is different. You're unique. Your uniqueness is different. What's your delivery? Because that's what people think because, you know, I'm in the insurance business and maybe people are either in real estate or solar or whatever, mortgages, whatever, taxes. They're watching the show. Like, well, how can I take a boring industry and make it sexy? Well, you, you just said you make it sexy. Absolutely. You, you make it interesting. You, if you if you're doing taxes, how do you do taxes? The worst month of the year is April. I'm going to fix you before April. Call the man with the red boots. Boom. Put your boot up on the table. <laughs> red boots to get you fixed. I'm clicking them. We're going to take you home. <laughs> I love it. What's different? Said, I'm wearing all yellow. Look at what happened with the Savannah Bananas. Okay. They took a boring-ass sport in baseball. Wow. Okay. You're correct. And then what? And now the umpire back there. Oh, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. They, 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 right. they, he can't even ump. Right. I need a short dude with a big booty. Cool. All right, you're going to be the umpire. Put this outfit on. <laughs> Throws out a pitch. Ball. All right. That, all that for a ball. <laughs> right. He went to Magic Mike. It was like, any ex-athletes that don't want to do this no more? Me? I play baseball. Come on. Wow. Got them abs. Open up that jersey. Let's sell to these mamas and babies. What's different? How do you make something boring special? You add color to it. You add joy to it. Let's take a stab at it. Take my industry. How do you add color, fun, and passion, excitement to the insurance industry? We got our, we got our, I wanted to see what your lens would be, your perspective from, from your viewpoint. How, you, how would you sell insurance the Coffee Anderson style? What, you, know what, you know what you do that makes it special? You acknowledge hard work. Uh, that's right. How many right. dads right now don't get a, a pat on the back right. for all the stuff they go through for feeding their family? That's right. For making a mortgage every month? That's right. They don't. Mm -hmm. Ever. Ever. It's expected. How many moms for holding it down? Yeah, all the time. All the time. Mo Mother's Day packed. People don't get acknowledgement. So in your industry, you know what? You sold one policy. Hey, hey, hey. That's right. That's and right. they come up, oh, oh my, I want this feeling again. That's right. Let me sell a thousand now. That's right. Now all of a sudden, now they got content to share with the family and the friends. Oh, we got an insurance. 
You're killing it right Amen. now. I'm winning, Mom. I'm winning. Acknowledgement right. and appreciation is underappreciated. Yeah. When I'm at the show, and wow. he'll, he'll tell you, I'm on stage, and I'm like, thank you so much for clapping. Let's go. Uh, look at you. Boy, y'all are ready to party tonight, even if they aren't. I, I am. I want to dance a little bit more. You sound so good singing my songs. Sing louder. Let's go. And they may not be, but you're speaking a, you're in sales, what do you call that? Uh, uh, assumptive clothes. Right, so you're guiding them to an area you're, you're leading people to by speaking that into existence. Entrepreneurs listening to this, everything is in sales. Everyone is selling, even your pastor. He's selling hope on Sunday. Oh, for sure. You're right. He's selling a hope. And, he, and he's never been to the destination he's talking about. No. Uh. <laughs> I ain't never been there. <laughs> never physically met Jesus. No. Nope. Never shook God's hand. No. Nope. But he's selling But once heaven. you have that moment, oh, taste and see, he's trying to let you know that once you taste, it's yeah. we're all in sales. Yeah. He's just selling forever. His sale is different. How did you learn how to sell? What, what, what was your observation? What did you... I've been selling since I was little. I was selling my mama on why I need to watch cartoons instead of she watching Young and the Restless. <laughs> Young I and came out selling. People don't even remember that, Young and the Restless. Yeah. Yeah. Nick, Nicky and Victor. Gro I was up, watching them, dog. Come on. We used to call the Young and the Restless. But then... <laughs> <laughs> For sure. <laughs> For sure. And then you the, turn on Pre-Christ, pre-Christ, okay? Pre-Christ, okay? But... 